What causes a jam? Well, there's lots of reasons. Uh, number one would be the collation gets whacked out. In other words, uh, you throw the box of nails in the back of your truck, you get five inches of snow on top of those nails, and if they get too wet, the tape collation will fail. You don't want to put the nails in wrong. Sometimes you put nails in backwards, guess what? They're not going to work. Yeah. Now the reasons 16 gauge nails jam, uh, it could be tons of reasons. Don't forget, you're going through a piece of wood that's going into drywall, that's going hopefully into a stud. What else is in that stud? Or it could be that you got the screw for the drywall. And lots of things can jam a nail there. It could be your feed's not right. It could be that the fasteners aren't right. You have to use 16 gauge and a 16 gauge tool, 18 gauge and an 18 gauge tool. You also have to use the right angle tools. There's different angles for different manufacturers. A coil has to be round in other words to feed the, to feed the nails. That's a good looking coil. This, on the other hand, which got dropped, is not a good looking coil. You can try to make that round again to save that roll, but odds are you're just going to be frustrating yourself. So you need to keep the tools oiled, you need to make sure that the fasteners aren't whacked out and out of shape. The other thing is make sure you're using the right fastener. If you're trying to use a siding nail, which is a smaller diameter, different type of wire collation, and a coil framing gun, which is a lot larger, you're going to have issues. It's just the wire's not going to fit right and it's not going to feed right.